So after <laughs> after Donald Trump gets fined three hundred fifty five million, yes. Uh, simultaneously, the SEC approves the merger between his company and I can't remember what the other company was that was trying to buy him, but they were trying to go public by way of a a SPAC. Yeah, that's what it was. That was the merger. That a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. It's a shell company where they raise money. They take the shell company public. Digital World Acquisition. Yep, which Digital World Acquisitions is the SPAC. Once the company's public, they then go buy a company by effectively buying the company instantaneously. That company becomes a publicly traded company. And so the, there was a, a hold up on that for the past couple of years. It finally got approved. So the same day that Donald Trump got fined $355 million, he stands to make about $4 billion. With a B. And you can't tie that guy down. <laughs> Diversification, my man. Hey, hey, I just want to tell all you uh, radical, rabid Democrats, y'all ain't going to beat this guy. Mm-mm. Nothing you guys do outside of legitimately physically harming the man is not going to work. Because y'all playing checkers. He's playing chess. He's playing chess. <clears throat> Literally the same day, the same day the verdict is handed out. He's like, he gets the text while he's driving away with his lawyers. Oh, right. You know, like, dang, now I'm only worth $3 billion, $700 million. <laughs> You can't beat this guy. Like, the power of brand. Yep. And obviously, he's been, he's been successful. And he, he, he's an entrepreneur, right? Through and through. People, through and through. People, team, letting people do their role. Like, he gets a lot of the attention, but there's a lot of people behind that machine that are, people are, taking care of families and creating opportunities and yeah, they're doing a lot of work. 